this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create this powerful sci-fi image of a gigantic wormhole effect in a night sky. I provided two images that you can download so you can follow along. One is an image of clouds and the other is a nighttime image of a small shack on a prairie. Their links are in the description below the video or in my project files. The first step is to separate the sky from the landscape. Generally, when you have an image that's pretty dark like this one, it can be difficult for Photoshop to differentiate between the two. An effective way to resolve this is to make a copy of the image by pressing Ctrl or Command J, and to open your Levels window by pressing Ctrl or Command L. Drag the input white level across until we can easily see the landscape. Open your Quick Selection tool and drag it over the sky to select it. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Next, we'll refine the edges of the landscape. Go to Select. If you're using a version earlier than CC 2015.5, click Refine Edge. If you're using a later version, click Select and Mask. If you prefer to use Refine Edge, shift click Select and Mask. I did in depth tutorials on both of these filters, so if you want to watch them, I provided their links as well. Check Smart Radius. This detects smooth and hard edges. To adjust your brush size, make sure your caps lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Brush over the edge of the landscape and over the entire area of the trees. Check Decontaminate Colors, which prevents color fringing that may leach into the landscape from the sky. Drag the amount all the way to 100%. Output it to a new layer with Layer Mask. Unlock the background and drag the Layer Mask next to it. Delete the two bright layers above it by either dragging them to the trash or, in recent versions, by pressing the Delete key. Next, we'll add more space above the landscape to accommodate the wormhole effect in the sky. Before we do this, let's zoom out of our document to give us more room to change our document's aspect ratio. Press Ctrl or Command and the minus key on your keyboard a couple of times. Open your Crop tool and click Width, Height, and Resolution. Clear the Width and the Height fields and type in 150 for the pixels per inch. Go to the top center edge and drag it up approximately this much. Then press Enter or Return or click the check mark at the top. Make the layer mask active. We'll fill in the top half of the layer mask with black. First, check your foreground and background colors. Note that these colors are automatically inverted to white and black respectively as soon as you click the layer mask. Open your rectangular marquee tool and drag it over the top of your document to just above the landscape. Since black is your background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill the selection with black. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Open the clouds image I provided. It's important to note that the aspect ratio of the clouds must be a perfect square, otherwise the wormhole effect won't work. Make a copy of it so we'll always have the original intact. Go to Filter, Distort, and Polar Coordinates. Tick Rectangular to Polar. Next, we'll feather out the hard line that runs from the top to the center. Open your Lasso tool and drag it around the line. Press Shift and the F5 key at the top of your keyboard to open the Fill window. You could also go to Edit and Fill. For Contents, click Content Aware. Then deselect it. We'll feather it out more by opening your Clone Stamp tool. Open your Brush Picker and pick a soft, round brush. The hardness is 0%. The opacity is 50% and the flow is 100%. Adjust the size of your brush and Alt click or Option click to pick up the area under your cursor. Move it over the vertical line and brush over it. 
Go to Filter, Distort, and Pinch. Make the amount 100%. We'll repeat the filter by pressing alt Control f on Windows or Option-Command-F on a Mac. Make a copy of it and reduce its opacity to 50%. Open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command-T. Go to a corner and press and hold Shift as you rotate it clockwise 180 degrees so the top is rotated to the bottom. Then press Enter or Return. Merge the wormhole layers together by pressing Ctrl or Command-E. Desaturate the color by pressing Ctrl or Command-Shift-U. We'll adjust its brightness and contrast by pressing Ctrl or Command-L to open levels. Drag the input black level to the point where the histogram rises. Drag the midtones a bit to the left to lighten them, and the white level a bit to the left to brighten the lighter tones. Next, we'll add a wide ring of clouds in the foreground. Make a copy of it, and make an inverted layer mask next to it by Alt or Option clicking the layer mask icon. Open your brush tool and brush picker. Make sure your brush is soft and round and its hardness is 0%. The opacity and flow are both 100%. Go to the middle and increase the size of your brush to 1900 pixels. Click once to make a soft white circle in the layer mask. Make the wormhole below it active and open your transform tool. Drag it out approximately this much and press and hold shift as you rotate it 90 degrees. Shift click the bottom wormhole to make it active as well and merge the two layers. Open levels and for the input black level type in 14 and for the midtones type in 1.1. Press V to open your Move tool and drag the wormhole onto the tab of the landscape. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. Drag the wormhole layer below the landscape. Open your Transform tool and drag it out approximately this much. Drag it to approximately here and press Enter or Return. Next, we'll adjust our image's color. Make the landscape active and click the adjustment layer icon. Click Color Lookup. Open Load 3D LUT and click Moonlight.3DL. Next, we'll brighten it. Click the adjustment layer icon again and click Curves. If you don't see the entire curves panel, just drag it down. Go to the middle of the grid and drag the diagonal line up and to the left to approximately here. Next, we'll add more vibrancy to the colors. Click the adjustment layer icon and click Vibrance. Drag the vibrance all the way to the right. The sky looks great, but I think the landscape looks better without the added vibrancy. To hide the vibrancy from the landscape, first, Drag the Vibrance panel back up so we can see more of the Layers panel. Control click or Command click the Layer Mask to make a selection of its shape. With the Vibrance Layer Mask still active, fill the selection with black, which is our background color. Think of Layer Masks as stencils. White reveals and black conceals. Deselect it. Next, we'll brighten the center. Make the Curves Adjustment Layer active. We'll make a new layer below it by control clicking or command clicking the New Layer icon. Change its Blend Mode to Overlay. Open your Brush Tool and make its opacity and flow 100%. Reduce it to approximately this size and click Once. Next, we'll add Stars. Make the Vibrance Adjustment layer active and make a new layer above it. Fill it with black. 
I'll fit the document onto my canvas by pressing Ctrl or Command 0 so we can see the stars better. Go to Filter, Noise, and add Noise. Make the amount 100%, Gaussian, and monochromatic. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel. Open Levels and type into the input black field 133 and type into the input white field 170. We'll jump the stars layer down the layers panel by pressing Ctrl or Command and the left bracket key four times. So it's just below color lookup. Change its blend mode to screen. Next, We'll fade out the stars near the bottom of the horizon and then hide them completely from the inside of the landscape. Add a layer mask next to the stars and open your gradient tool. Make sure the linear gradient icon is active. Open your list of gradient presets. Click the black and white thumbnail and place your cursor approximately here. Press and hold the shift key as you drag the tool up to approximately here and release. Control click or command click the layer mask of the landscape to make a selection of its shape. Fill the selection with black and deselect it. Press B to open your brush tool, adjust its size approximately this much, and click once in the center of the wormhole. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.